start our bowl preparation here on, on site. Um, kids traveled in yesterday and, and uh, were able to get here relatively pretty uh, pretty well. Uh, a few flight issues, but uh, great uh, practice today. Uh, good energy and, and uh, looking forward to the rest of the week. Josh, what value does this part of the state have to you in terms of recruiting and the fan base? Yeah, a huge part uh, of, uh, of our being able to recruit inside the, uh, the state. Uh, and, I've said it from uh, the moment that I've gotten here, it's a priority. Um, you know, for us, that starts with just building relationships, high school coaches, you know, our VFLs that are here inside of the region, uh, have a lot of good players that are from this area, get a chance to come back home and, and, uh, and play in front of their, their families. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's vital to us as, as a program that, uh, that we do it the right way. And, and this area obviously has a, a talent-rich environment, and uh, you've got to continue to build those relationships. Josh, after watching uh, Purdue on film, what stands out about their passing game? Yeah, uh, they got playmakers out on the on the perimeter. Do a great job of getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands. He's a good decision maker, accurate with it. Does a good job of taking care of it. Uh, you got to do a great job perimeter screen game. Uh, you know, defeat blocks and, and go make plays in space uh, defensively for us. Uh, we got to do a great job of affecting the quarterback. Uh, if you can get them into third and long and, and put some pressure on them, that's going to be critical. Uh, at the same time, with some of their quick games, you've got to find uh, a way to you know, cause some issues with uh, Windows and, and him being able to deliver the football. Coach, we've seen a couple more ball games canceled today. Um, do you all have any kind of issues right now going on? And, and, and where would you feel comfortable numbers-wise? You keep hearing these coaches say we only got about 40 guys. What, what number would you feel comfortable with continuing to play with? Yeah, I, I don't have a specific number. Um, you know, we've been very fortunate in that our guys that are non-vaccinated have done a great job of taking care of themselves throughout the entire year. Um, we'll continue to uh, follow the testing protocols set forth by the league. Um, you know, it's, uh, you want your kids to be smart in how they handle themselves and, and uh, make sure that they take care of themselves, their teammates, and their family. You talked about it and not being happy with the, the focus and the Detailed, yeah. you see that today out here. yeah, I thought there was great energy today, uh, you know, from the time we got into meetings, but then, then out here on the practice field, and, and uh, guys with Chris, uh, got some things that we got to clean up here before we get to kickoff, too, but uh, like the energy and, and focus that we saw from our guys. Since last time we talked to you, Cedric said he's coming back next season. How excited are you to get him back and develop him more after his, what he yeah, does here? Yeah, a guy that, you know, from the time that we've gotten here has just continued to get better in every phase, off season, spring ball, um, during the summer, continued to gain confidence because of his work habits, what he's done throughout the course of the season, uh, just continued to get better and better. And, and uh, you know, I think he's got a much higher ceiling than even how he's played uh, at the end of this year. Uh, excited to have him back, mature competitor, becoming a great leader inside of the wide receiver room in particular. Um, you know, it's a, it's a huge, uh, huge pickup for us as a program to get him back. Is he a good representation for the guys that maybe haven't had as big an impact the last couple of years? To say, hey, look what he did going from one year to the next. He's a great representation of just continuing to put your head down, continuing to work. The more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. And uh, it doesn't always happen for, for everybody the first day that you step on campus. For some, it does. You're going to face adversity. you got to continue to co uh, compete as you go through your, your career. That's on this level. That's on, on the next level if, you, if you're able to get, uh, get to that point. Um, it's a great, uh, you know, example of just continuing to work and compete and, and uh, you know he's a young man that uh, you know has played really well but has a bright bright future inside of this game he's only going to continue to get better and it's done so much for you running and, and throwing is there more he can give is there another level that you can look for for him yeah for sure uh, you know I was just talking about said you know Hendon is an example of, of those exact same things so when it didn't go perfect form early in the year, man, he continued to, to put his nose down and only competed and, and worked harder. Um, you know, you look at how he's played throughout the season, he's a, a young young player, right? And I know he's coming back for, for his last year, but he's continuing to get better in, in everything that he's doing throughout the course of the season. You know, for him, in, in off season, being comfortable in what we're doing, but being able to, to just go through, you know, quarterback school with us, understand the, the game of football better, get better fundamentally. There's things that, you know, when he gets back in January, we've already pinpointed on, on things that he can get better at. Um, you know, it's just a constant growth and evolution of who you are as a player. You feel like so it's just going to be a, a home game for you? <coughs> with the amount of will be on I, I'm excited to, to, for the game day environment. Absolutely. Our players are too, man. This is... Uh, this is Tennessee territory, and, and uh, excited to see all of our fans here. Just a couple of things from from the game, obviously. How 
How set are you at that cornerback spot without Alante? Is that by committee? Where, how comfortable are you at, at that position opposite of one? Yeah, we, you know, throughout the course of the season, one guy's down, the next guy steps up. Um, I believe in the guys that will play there uh, when we get to game day. Uh, it won't just be one guy, I don't think, uh, uh, for our, throughout the entire 60 minutes. So, um, But uh, excited to see those guys go, go compete. Anything else? Cade, he didn't look like he was out there today or it wasn't look like he's practicing. Do you have anything on him? I don't. I actually was able to move around. Uh, we didn't have him out of the, the padded part of it uh, today, but uh, uh, we'll see where he's at as we get later in the week. Uh, he's starting to move around a lot better. Is he pushing to play? Is that a regular conversation? Yeah, I mean, he's absolutely pushing to play. Yeah. Jeremiah Crawford's a guy that got here late, later due to the JUCO season. How would you say he's kind of progressed, especially through these ball practices? Jeremiah? Yeah. Man, uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, uh, coming out of junior college, uh, got here, you know, middle part of the, the summer, uh, continued to grow strength and conditioning wise. Just his frame and strength uh, as we've gone through the early part of the season. Uh, schematically, just understanding and growing into the position has grown a ton throughout the course of it and uh, expect him to only continue to get better here inside of our program. Is it difficult to maintain a routine practice wise every day when you're, when you're, at a bowl site for a week like this, as opposed to just what a what a road game would be. Well, it, it, certainly it's different, right? They get a chance to go experience, uh, see the city, and and have fun with each other in the afternoon. You know, there, there's no class, there's none of that. Uh, but the entire bowl preparation is kind of that way. Um, for us, our routine once we get to the bowl uh, sites, a little bit different, but we still meet in the morning, practice in the morning. You know, they get the afternoons off, um, extended meetings just a little bit in the morning to, to cover what we would normally do in our afternoon meetings. Josh, is this a chance for some of the young receivers that maybe didn't play a whole lot to to get some work and, and improve during this time? Uh, they've done it during during bowl preparation. Uh, potentially, they'll have some opportunities on game day too. It's you know, 15 practices of all of our entire program, young wide receivers included, having a chance to get better. That's it. Thank awesome, you. guys. Thanks, Appreciate it.